our Western New York heroes and trailblazers. We came to know them as they traveled to Sochi, Russia to compete for the gold in the Paralympic Games. But as News Force Al Vodder shows us, these men have much bigger stories. Al? Well, Diana, we often toss around the word hero for the player who hits the winning basket or the home run in the bottom of the ninth inning. The two young men you are about to meet are the real thing. They've laid it all out on the line to help others. They came back heroes with the U.S. sled hockey team, winning the gold for their country and Western New York at the Sochi Paralympics. It really just shows how, you know, Buffalo supports the sled hockey here, and it's just awesome. Really proud to have, have this opportunity and this honor to bring the gold medal back to my hometown. But Paul Schaus and Adam Page are real heroes in the truest sense of the word, on and off the ice. Marine Lance Corporal Paul Schaus lost both legs in Afghanistan in 2009, and his recovery has been long and hard physically and emotionally. After your injury, there's a lot of things that are different in your life. You know, you come back, uh, just the easiest task could be, you know, something very difficult that you might not even be able to do on yourself. Two years ago, Massachusetts-based Home for Our Troops built Paul a fully accessible home from the ground up to help him make the adjustment. But before it was done, burglars broke in twice. Paul told us simply, stuff happens. That kind of thing will happen, you know, I guess. And uh, I, th I don't think it should reflect the community or anything like that or the actions of one person or certain individuals. Paul credits his family and friends as his inspiration in hockey, which has lifted him on the sled beyond his wildest dreams. You're representing the millions of people that live in this country uh, to a whole different you know, nation and a whole different type of people that all they see about this country is what they see on news. And to be able to go over there and you know, represent the USA proudly and bring home the gold is uh, just a great feeling. One on his belly and one to the back. Adam Page has been a trailblazer since he was two and a half. He and his family stepped up to try an electrical stimulation device in Canada to overcome the spina bifida he was born with. The focus of a special report by Rich Newberg. The device failed Adam, but it didn't stop him, and he's spreading the news. To kind of go out and tell people, you know, just because you have a disability doesn't mean your, your life's over. Um, you know, you still can make something of your life and be successful. Adam is in high demand as an inspirational speaker for both young people and adults as the Niagara University women's lacrosse team here and to help others overcome the obstacles life has thrown at them. It's a pretty cool feeling that, that you get and that you know that you can uh, make a difference in other people's lives. An honor to talk to those two young men. To stay at the top of their game, Paul and Adam practice and play regularly in sled hockey leagues. When Adam is invited to speak, he offers a powerful presentation. Paul is still recovering, and family members say he's making great progress. Alvarez News 4 at 530.